my name is Milan, last name Posednik. I was born in, um, under communism in Cold War, if some of you might know what that was. In the day, I uh, was uh, born in uh, Czechoslovakia, now it's called Czech Republic. And, uh, you know, I was not raised in church. My grandma used to take me to a Roman Catholic church, you know, old cathedral or church on the top of the hill type of deal. And, you know, I didn't uh, get totally too much excited about it, but I liked the ice cream, what the grandma used to buy us kind of after the church. And, you know, that was about all things I know about the religion and about believing in God, really not much at all, pretty much nothing. And uh, at age 12, um, you know, I saw an American movie called Electroglide in Blue, and it was a motorcycle thing, and it was about Harley Davidson motorcycles, police, and so on. And I, uh, I got excited, and I said, I'm going to have that. And little I knew under communism, I, I could not have that. And my craving and craving was growing more and more to have something what I couldn't really have until I found one old motorcycle from World War II, but the Allies left behind and, I restored that, put it together, and eventually me and my brother skipped the country on it and on that old Harley Davidson Canadian Model 45, and uh, we ended up in a refugee camp, and you perhaps, you know, you might know somebody in a refugee camp, or you've been in a refugee camp, so you know what I'm talking about, and I always tell people, stop when you see it on TV and pray for these people, because they have no place to go, they have no, no country of their own, they lost their homes many times, so let's don't judge them, but let's pray for them, but I ended up, uh, luckily, God opened the doors, God did miracle, we escaped communism, we ended up in free country Canada, 1983, was that ever exciting, I was excited, stores, full of meat, food, everything. I never seen that in my life. And motorcycles, Harley-Davidson. So I became the part of the Harley-Davidson lifestyle. You know, in the day was uh, parties. You know, they, I got mixed up with drugs. And I knew how to drink from Czech because everybody was kind of drinking in Czech. That was normal. And I become Harley-Davidson dealer. I become sort of local celebrity. And, and I own motorcycles. And we build the big engines. And more and more I had and more and more I accomplished accomplished, more and more I was feeling there was something missing in my heart. One day I realized that I accomplished all my dreams, the dreams what were unthinkable. I accomplished them on the other end of the world here in free country of Canada at the time. But there was something missing. And I was putting in drugs, I was putting in sex, I was putting in addictions of porn, I was, I was putting in alcohol, I was putting in everything to, to deal with this thing, what was missing somewhere in my heart, which I didn't know what it was. Until a very good friend of mine and a couple other people started showing us the way. And I didn't understand it until I, one day I showed up in this, at this drama we were invited. It was called Heaven's Gaze, Hell's Flames, but clearly explained to what happens to every single soul born on this planet when we die. What happens to us? That always was my question and my internal question. What happens after? And in that drama clearly shows there is no such a thing in between. There is a heaven and there is a hell. You're going to end up here or you're going to end up there? And I questioned it many times. Question came to me, where would I ever end up if I ever die? That was in my mid-30s. It was 1997. When God got hold of my heart. When I surrendered my life to him. When I cry out to him and I pray a little prayer. And I said, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Save me. Forgive me of my sin. That's about all I did. And then I learned that at that moment, he forgave me everything what I have ever done in my life. And I tell you something that has been about 25, 26 years now, and I'm still alive only by grace of God. I'm still alive and I'm talking to you. And just the message I have for you, just think about it. Everybody's life will end one day. My life, everybody's. Some younger, some older. It's not fair sometimes. But make your peace with the Lord. The things what I thought will satisfy me in this life, the riches of this world, the prestige, and all these things what go with it, they are fake. They are not real. But the relationship with Jesus Christ, that is what's important, what is real. I thank you for watching this program. In the name of Jesus, I pray over you. Amen.